Zara Tyndall's angry six-word comment to Princess and as she drops off kids. Princess and has a very close relationship with her five grandchildren and the documentary that marked her 70th birthday showed just how much she enjoys spending time with them. Zara Tyndall and her brother Peter Phillips are often spotted at their mum Princess and sprawling 700-acre Gloucestershire estate, along with their adorable little ones. Hello! If you're new here please do not forget to subscribe, like and hit the notification bell to remain updated. The bond between the Princess Royal and her family was lovingly showcased in the ITV documentary and the Princess Royal at 70, which aired to celebrate her milestone birthday. In a particularly heartwarming moment, Zara was heard quipping about parental duties, saying, we quite like leaving them on Sundays. She humorously added that when it comes to picking up the kids later, she's all too happy to tell her mom, we'll pick them up later, bye, before making a swift exit. Peter Phillips also chimed in with some touching details about Anne's role as a doting grandmother, noting how she delights in sharing activities with her grandchildren that he and Zara enjoyed as children. He shared, she loves seeing them ride, she loves having them round for Sunday lunches and taking them for walks, doing all the things that we would do as kids. With both Zara and Peter residing within Gatcombe Park, they're always just a stone's throw away from some quality time with their beloved grandma. Despite being the late queen's oldest grandchildren, neither Zara nor Peter carry royal titles, a decision made by Princess Anne and their father Captain Mark Phillips. Peter opened up on this choice during the documentary, shedding light on the down-to-earth upbringing they experienced. Zara Tyndall and Peter Phillips have spoken candidly about their gratitude for not being given royal titles by Princess Anne, suggesting it encouraged them to achieve their own successes. Peter said, we were always brought up on the understanding that we were going to have to go to work. We were going to have to go out and earn our living, regardless of the fact of who our grandmother was or who our mother was. Zara joined in, adding, I think it made us fight harder as well, to try and be as successful as we could be. So we're very grateful to her not giving us a title anyway. Princess and has been the epitome of royal elegance and commitment as she waved goodbye to Paris, having fiercely supported Team GB at the 2024 Olympics. Alongside her doting husband, Sir Timothy Lawrence, the tough royal proved her medal seamlessly balancing public duties with personal health following her concussion earlier this year. The hard-working and had landed in the city of light two weeks prior to the opening ceremony, mingling with the British athletes at the embassy, radiating her trademark dedication. Her return from France was officially noted, with the court circular stating, the Princess Royal, accompanied by Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence, this afternoon arrived at Heathrow Airport, London, from France. Thanks for watching till the end.